How's it going guys? My name is Austin. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I would very much appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. On with the video. Man, I just now noticed my mustache is not complete. There's no hair right here. It's like a little peach fuzz. People might say this is peach fuzz, but shit, this is a full beard to me. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I figured I'm just going to snipe for the day and talk. Does anyone in here believe in ghosts? Let me know in the comments if you believe in ghosts. Cause boy, do I got some stories for you. Okay, so with all these, so me and Lily for the past couple of days, we've been watching like creepy ghost videos and stuff like that. And you know, I I, I do believe in uh, stuff like that. I, I really do. I, I've seen some stuff and I, I've seen stuff that I can't explain and, and yeah. So let me, so allow me to share them with you. One is this. So my mom recent or at the time recently just got a new phone. So I was playing around with it and playing with the camera. And like phones today, with if you take a picture and hold down the picture button, it takes multiple pictures. It just bursts fires pictures, right? So that's what I was doing. And when I did that, cause it was a new feature at the time, didn't know it did that. And what happened next had me, okay. So I took all the pictures and went through them all and everything, everything looked fine, except for one picture. Okay, and I'll put it up on the screen right now. Let me know if you see anything. Okay, so now that I got some time to for you guys to look at it and everything, uh, did you see anything in the mirror? Did then, cool. But let me uh, make it a little easier for you. This little area right here, this area you wanna pay attention to just because of where it's standing. That white there is actually a curtain and it waves down in the picture it runs straight down. Okay, so that's off the wall. Right to the get-go, weird. And if you look a little closer and some, and if you also enhance the brightness and stuff like that, you can see a face. You can see a gray face with eyes, just a slit for a mouth or a frowny face for a mouth, an upside down cross on the forehead, just standing there. And that is the only picture where that appears. I don't have any of the other pictures to prove like, you know, this is the first picture and then this is the second picture. But me at fucking 11 years old isn't trying to fake some shit. This is when I was like at least 11 or 12 or something like that. This is about a year after my little brother. That's the actual only thing that I actually have proof of. Uh, another little story I could actually share is our house is actually fairly, our house is actually fairly new. We built it in, I think 2010 or 2019. 2009 but anyway so we got nothing like nor abnormal would ever happen only on one night one night there was only a time where there was like actual activity and we couldn't explain anything and that was on new year's eve new year's eve was for some reason weird things would happen at the house okay i'll let me paint the picture for you so my little brother at the time was with my aunt my mom had left to go pick him up it is me my grandmother, my other aunt, and my cousin. We're all sitting in the dining room. And you know, as we're sitting down in the dining room and everything, and we're talking, we hear a baby cry. Me thinking my mom just got home, so you know I was gonna go in the garage and, you know, help her and everything with, uh, I was gonna go in the garage and help her with Zach. I got in the garage, no one was there. Not the car, nothing outside, nothing. Everyone heard it sitting at the dining room table. So we're like, okay, maybe that was just TV or something. So we kind of brushed it off. It happened again. And this time it came directly above us. Directly above us is my mom's room. Me and my cousin, Brittany, we walked upstairs just to see anything or whatever, check it out. We didn't see anything. Now note, all of the upstairs doors are open. We walked back downstairs and we all right, begin to talk and everything. We hear a loud, we hear a loud bang. So we're like, what the heck was that? It's like something falling or something shutting or whatever. So what we do is we walk back upstairs, you know, and all of the doors upstairs are shut. But yeah, that was one of the most freakiest thing that's ever happened to me because I wasn't the only one that witnessed it. It was me, my grandmother, my aunt, and my cousin. We all witnessed it. We all heard something in the house. Another cool, like strange thing that's happened. So I was walking downstairs one day and in the living room, my mom was sitting on the couch. And it's important to note downstairs is like this. The front door is right here. And then this is the living room. This is the living room, right? And then on the wall, when you're walking down the stairs, there is like a little um, shelf. The shelf has like a little railing. And in the 
on the railing is like the old style wax candles in a little box. They're just sitting there as like for decoration. And me and my mom both saw this happen. We were, I was walking downstairs. She was um, on the couch and we see the candles lift up and get thrown on the ground. There's no explanation for that. They don't just tip over or anything because in order for them to fall, they have to go raise over the little railing that's on the shelf. My cousin and myself have seen shot glasses that are completely flat at the bottom and only about this tall, just all go boop, boop, just all topple over. It, it's so fucking weird. And you know, since I don't live at home anymore, I don't know if like any strange things have happened. My dad doesn't believe in that kind of stuff. My mom, I think the weirdest thing that's ever happened to her, she was laying down in bed one day or one night. My dad was on call. He was out working, fixing a leak or whatever. And she was trying to fall asleep. She was asleep. She was trying to fall asleep and she hears footsteps, okay? Going down the hallway. And all of a sudden she feels like someone is laying with her. She feels like someone is holding her like this, but there's no one. That was probably um, the last thing that's ever happened to my mom. That was a couple years ago. Um, the recent, the most recent thing that's happened to me is I went to visit, um, I think it was Thanksgiving. Last Thanksgiving or last New Year's Eve, actually, I went upstairs to see what Zach was doing to check on him because he was being pretty quiet and stuff like that and just didn't know what he was doing. Um, checking in his room. He wasn't in the room, so he was outside. But while I was in his room, he had a red solo cup just laying on the floor because it had like Sunny D in it or something like that. And it was empty. But anyway, it was laying down like this. And I walked in and all of a sudden it started going back and forth rolling. And I kept looking at it there for a second and I told Lily about it. And I said, or I told my mom about it. And I was like, hey, come here. Look at this. And all of a sudden it just stops right when I had someone come over to look at it, but it had already stopped. That was last year. I don't know, it was really, it was really weird because if you like the little kind of like ghost stories or whatever, um, leave a like, leave a comment and I'll be sure to make another one and kind of tell you some more little stories. There's some stories of my own I could share, some that has happened to my mom, some that has happened to Lily and stuff like that. Yeah, so just just let me know in the comments down below if you if you like that kind of stuff or or what. You just gotta you just gotta keep me in the loop. I hit a nice clip by talking about ghosts. That's crazy. But yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Something uh, same old type of content, me sniping, me talking, same old, same old. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out!